Good morning. How are you today? It is nice to see you. It is of course Gagu. And today we are going to play some Warcraft 3, yes? So let's get to it then. I need myself an orchard and then probably a farm. I will not do that voice forever. Every time I do an accent, I won't do it forever because it's one, it's just out of order to me. And I'll probably upset a fair few people just by doing that. And two, it's actually quite difficult to concentrate and do an accent at the same time. If I was only concentrating on the accent, then I could put it off. But a few things in this game are probably going to throw me off and I'm going to end up going, oh, back to my original voice as I panic and go, what do I do? Well, I'm going to need that original voice for those occasions. My good old lovely voice. Can't beat the original, can you? Just can't beat it. So, this is a Warcraft 3 game. It actually didn't take that long to find. Ten minutes. It's quite early in the morning, Sunday. I did almost sleeping on Saturday, where I basically have a complete and utter lack of sleep throughout the week. Literally until like three to four hours a night. And then, um, yeah, I catch up on it all on Saturday. So I get like 12 plus hours sleep. And I wake up with an insanely large headache, which won't go away for at least six hours or something like that. Three, four hours, I'll give it. So yeah, that's the basic payback for uh, mistreating my body throughout the week, I suppose. But until I learn to improve on that or learn to go to bed earlier, that ain't gonna change. I'm just not really a early night kind of person. I hate going to bed early. I always like to try and fit in as much as I possibly can. It's just what I'm like, okay? So we've got an archmage, we've got footman, we've got a good map. I quite like this map. It's one of my favourite maps, but I don't know if it's my favourite map now. I think Market Garden, I think it's called, is my favourite map. I can't remember the name. I should probably get myself a tower, thinking about it. Because I could quite easily get absolutely owned by a Blear Master. That might be my base right now. Gonna keep my peons under wood this time. I might use a few, actually to creep the orange bits on this map but until that happens or is necessary oh yes! Nee, sorry about that <laughs> I, could, I just felt that one car I just couldn't do much about it actually I don't even know if I do need to use peons on this it's only really if you're just sort of skipping to rifles or something like that but you've got your archmage, you've got your water elementals, you've got your footman for dps not great DPS, but the DPS nonetheless. And water on mantles should be able to take all the damage before your units have to. So really, you can just stick to it. What are you doing? Stop slacking. Didn't actually come up with the uh, slacker icon there. And obviously bring back the water on mantle when it's about to die. Because you may as well have it for the rest of its um, length. There's no point in letting it die just because it's been the tank. It doesn't have to tank to it dies. Okay, so this is the part where we find out whether they're on exactly the same creeping pattern. Although I can skip that part and basically put down a ward here. We've got ourselves a new water elemental to take the damage, whilst the old one is uh, just in the back there in DPS. Okay, about to get ganked in a second. Get a tank going off. Pick up the items. Bring back that water elemental. Oh, will you get it? Will you get it? Oh, I think she didn't get it. That bought me a bit of extra time. Bring back the weak footman because might be a smart player. Might not be a smart player. Uh, probably go to rifles now. Don't want to get stuck for this guy. I'd like to creep this spot. And by like to, I mean I will because... Luckily, an ally is going to completely and utterly devastate one of the enemy bases, which gives me enough time to creep this without getting creep jacked by orange, hopefully. But there's no guarantee on that. Okay, let's see how we get on with this. Let's just highlight all the units and put them under four or something like that. And obviously, as you see your units go down in health, you want to pull them back. It's generally the idea. So this one's getting injured. Pull him back. This guy's a little injured. I don't want him to get hit. Not many are getting actually hit, actually. They're doing a good job, the illusions, of taking damage. Oh, wow. He went back into the fray and almost got himself killed again. So we can take him completely back to base. 
Yeah, we can sell our stuff. All these peons are now going to take forever. But I can take a couple to possibly build a farm there. Farm there. Still got healthy footmen. Did slack a little bit on building in terms of macro. But not too far. Now this guy's going to want to put some sort of pressure on me. And I don't want him to. I don't think he can take me yet. He needs more units. Yes, you do. You need more units. Alright, let's get our rifles coming. I think I can take him. It's not exactly a good fight for me, but I can definitely do something. I can weaken him down. He might get a footman, yeah, but that's alright. Because he's going to get weakened down. Oh, look at that. It just so happens that Blue turns up out of nowhere to help him from the bottom. So what the hell was Blue doing at the bottom? Now the question is, is I should just TP here because I'm not doing any good just waiting around. So I'm not really going to lose any units, but I've got to the point now where the map becomes shit because essentially you can't do anything on it. I mean, let's chop that tree down so I can build something safe in there. Probably lose a farm or two, give them something to do. But the biggest problem on this map is just the fact that you need to kind of pair up with your TV2 partner. I mean, he's got this to do, but I've got nothing left. There's no spots to creep, so then you just you become AFK basically. But you're just like, well, you've got two enemies here, they're dominating the right hand side of the map, so what do I do? I can't do anything. I'm just in that situation where a game is over for me at this point. Not like over, over, but you know, I can't do shit basically is what I'm trying to say. Ha! Huh. What are the chances of you seeing him? I'd almost want to check the replay just to see if he actually saw that in his vision. This is an annoying combination, but at least Red can come in useful now with his fiends. Yeah, when you're ready to TP, go for it, you know? Only when you're ready. I mean, don't TP too soon, you know? It's not like I've been under attack the last 15 seconds or something. Oh, he still got killed, that's unfortunate. Where the hell is everyone? Right, that'll have to do. Let's get some more mortars out, so we're going to go down the water route. Actually take out the summons. Don't want the summons uh, building into war. These guys aren't even that good. Just can't 2v1 them. Oh, hello. Why? How has this become a 1v2 again? Where did these guys go? Where did these guys go? I don't get it. I mean, I've been completely and utterly abandoned by Red. And what? What's going on? Oh, I see. He got his hero weak. That's what he did. Stupid idiot. So he's like one of those kind of players. Oh, my hero is low HP. So the rest of my entire 40 food army will have to go back even though it hasn't been touched yet. I hate players like that. Just look after your hero in the first place and you won't have to TP and screw up the rest of your army. Honestly. Sort it out. Bad players are bad. Look at it. The green has got himself right. He's here in the front. There's no need to do that. What did you do that for? Why are you... DPSing with your Death Knight. He's not a fucking DPS. He's a support hero. People just don't control their Death Knights. They really don't. Right then. It's time to rape it with mortars again. Yellow. Oh my god, we're against mass undead players. That's why we're getting so screwed over. Can't even really give them wood, to be fair. Everyone's undead. Fiends, fiends, fiends. Look at that. 28 to 43 damage on a tier 1.5 unit. Idiot. Idiots, Blizzard. Idiots. Ugh. What can you do, eh? What can you do? This game ain't getting patched ever again, so it is what it is. Just gotta get used to that. The fiends are definitely broken in 4v4. At least I've got good defense now. 
with mortars. Yes, I'm dead now. Yes, you are. Perhaps if people sort of TP'd earlier and sorted this out, then we wouldn't have this issue. So you got, I've got a nice little base here, to be honest, to defend with. There's only one real entrance or a proper entrance back there if you've got too many units. Woodman. I can give him some wood now. Mortars aren't cheap. I think they're just dominating the middle of the map now. This feels like a real shitty game. You know, right from the point where I had two players here. I, I can't do it anymore. This is a single player game and it was a 1v1. I could do something, but... Since it's a team game, I can't step outside without a team ally with me. And Red wasn't with me at the moment. I'm probably going to get attacked. So, as soon as I leave my base. Might be an idea to put down some towers, to be honest. Yes, they do, Creep Metal. It is over, to be honest, this game. It just feels like everyone's been sitting around, and they have including myself because it's just one of those maps it's good to begin with but then suddenly you can't do shit and it's just about whoever wins the first battle sort of thing that gets control of the middle and then they should win the game if they lose the game then they're idiots basically if you manage to creep the middle without any trouble so let's see they've got level 4's heroes I've already got uh, need my Mountain King out. I'm basically just waiting to lose this game is essentially what I'm doing. We know it's a loss, so we just need to hurry up and just lose it. See, look at these units. How much better they are than us. By about a million miles. I mean, if you were going to put yourself in their situation or ours, who would you rather be in? Simple as that. Really. It's quite straightforward. Now this is a situation where I've got almost enough morts. Blue's getting himself morts as well. Pink's probably going to need to TP, which he hasn't got a TP. Well, yes. Research complete. <sighs> oh dear, he's going. Oh no, what's he doing? We need a good position here, really. Need my morts to become untouched. So if I can just stay back here for a moment, and hopefully they won't notice my morts, and then I can start doing some damage. See, this is a good position because we've caught them out a bit. Probably want to start moving to siege tanks or something. Wars are going to get raped now, so I'll just move them behind the Green's army so that Green can get more free hits. Need my Mountain King. Oh, there we is. There we is. Don't know what this guy's doing. I can actually DPS those bears down if I get enough distance from them. Look at that. I don't know what's going on in the uh, bottom of the map, my allies, but. <laughs> Look at this. Orange is getting complete. He's a terrible player. He shouldn't be doing as well as he's doing. I mean, obviously not doing well now, but you know what I mean? Earlier, they didn't deserve to get the middle with this level of skill. It's just basically luck. So are they losing the battle down there? Yeah, they're losing the battle down there. That basically makes it even, unfortunately. So we're going to have to regroup. Yep. Back. Don't block my Mountain King. I don't really want to lose my Mountain King if I can help it. My man can get a die. He might do. Nah, I shouldn't have to use my TP. If I can get back, it's pretty obvious we have to get back here. We can't take them on. I just hope that my allies didn't lose too much down at the bottom because we did bloody well in the middle there. I mean, I killed basically everything for free. I didn't lose a unit. We must go all. Oh, they will probably attack because they've got nothing left to do other than attack. So. That's fine by me. I've got so many mortars now. There we go, they're going to attack soon in a second, so... Get all my units going. Oh wow, I don't even need... Uh, come on, Mountain King, hurry up. Arse up there. 
Let's get to work. Oh. Green sucks. Well, that's not a nice thing to say, is it? That's not very nice. What do you need? Hello. This is the part of the game where I flare all over the shop and find out what's going on. Any expansions going down. So I could probably kill... Nah, I couldn't really get in there. His base is well spread out. But this is the sort of thing you want to look out for. There's enemy wisps that spot you. And this will make them paranoid. Enough. What are they doing? Don't go and attack. What are you doing? Oh, it's the worst decision ever. What is he doing? Oh, well, if, if I haven't lost the game, I've lost it now. What the hell are you doing? One versus four. When is that ever a good scenario? All I've got to do is try and make them TP back, and I've got to TP to pink or something like that. See? Because what they'll do is they'll attack pink. Even if I don't kill the main, it doesn't matter too much. I didn't actually kill it, unfortunately. And I've got units that are miles out for some reason. How the hell? Why were they slacking so much? I don't get it. I told my units to attack the main for quite a long time there, so... And unfortunately, they've all gone to the top, so now we are screwed. Now we really genuinely are screwed. And they're everywhere. They're just waltzing around the map, basically, with no problem whatsoever. They've got the two expansions going down, so could we just get this game over with, please? This is like in League of Legends or something. We <laughs> were blocking there. You could have just told me I was blocking. Instead of killing my units. Oh well. Yep, let's get this game over with. I'm just TPing. Whether it's a win or a loss, I don't care now. Look at it. I mean, I want to be on their team so much. It's just one of those games where you desperately want to be on the enemy team. And you're like, oh, this is shit. This is so shit. Why was I put on this team? Oh, the only thing that can win this for us is positions, basically defending. But we've got some mortars there, so let's try and take pick them off. Got nothing else I can do. No, looking shit, is it? All oh, right, then. Well, that's pretty much what I realised about ten minutes ago, wasn't it? That was looking shit. Right then, well there's your shit Warcraft 3 game of the day. Let's see if we can get a better one in a moment. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Witty. Please subscribe, rate and comment.